All right, this is to prove that I'm on my treadmill working, editing our Halloween thumbnail. I have a little candle lit for myself, a little ambiance in here, and I'm starting my day the correct way. I look like I need to take a shower, but I'm not quite done on the treadmill. I just want to check in with you all. It is 10 o'clock. I just got rid of my last kid today. It is Wednesday, so I have light, they have late start. And maybe we'll load the dishes here while we get started. Let me put you down. I'm just gonna load Ashley's dishes for her really quick while I check in with you guys. Um, I'm, I just finished editing the Halloween video and what we didn't show and what I won't expand upon much more is the epic meltdown that ensued literally seconds after I turned off the camera. And I don't think it's because I she didn't want to do it on camera. I think it's just the sugar high hit one of my children. Probably guess which one and epic meltdown lasted for hours no one went to sleep until like started to go to sleep until at least 11 p.m and even that was some of us medicated ourselves <laughs> to actually try and get to sleep and if i could start decorating for christmas right now i would the only reason why i'm not going to is because i don't want to get sick of christmas and i know i will before we celebrate christmas and i don't want to get sick of it so i can't decorate yet so in order to kind of get my holiday fix, if you will, because I'm definitely like perusing Pinterest and looking at the Target dollar spot, I'm already buying stuff for my cocoa bar, which I kind of want to set up anyway, because the kids all want it. So I'm just kind of looking and creating a plan for what I want to do in places like this. But I also might start to like dust and clean. Um, in here, I've taken down all the Halloween stuff. It was quite easy because I didn't put up very much. Um, I might actually just go ahead and take off a lot of the stuff on here in the next week or two uh, just to dust it and figure out where I want to put stuff and some of my decorations like this is just a filler like this is just placed here it's just empty it's just to kind of set there I might take off some of the filler pieces and um, put, tuck them away and kind of get them out of the way we are hosting Thanksgiving dinner that's why I'm hesitating because in what two weeks we have Thanksgiving and we probably will likely have like all of our tables set up right here it's the only space we have room for everyone and so I just I don't want like full Christmas reds all like I had the window open there I'm trying to keep the cold into that room because I have my fireplace on in here heating up the rest of the house anyway I don't want like all splashes of red on the wall here on our little shelving unit when we're all sitting here for Thanksgiving but at the same time I think we're gonna have the tree set up in the corner <laughs> Just because I, I mean, Thanksgiving comes and I just, bam, I just want to have Christmas already and just like decorate the Christmas tree. I usually, we decorate the Christmas tree on the Sunday after Thanksgiving. So I kind of just like to have it up and ready to go. And usually we're not hosting Thanksgiving. So it's a little bit different this year. Um, I'm just, I'm in a standstill. I have date plans with Ashley when she gets home from school after her therapy call. And then she starts tumbling tonight. I don't really know exactly what that class is gonna involve because it's also being taught by the coach for the elite cheer team that they run through the community, like the community center classes or whatever. And I just added up all the cheer the outfit uniform costs. If she were to get into the cheer elite team, <sighs> another $200 but we're on a waiting list I don't think she's gonna get into that that class is right after her tumbling class but they're they're kind of in conjunction with each other to teach the girls how to do tumbling and stunting with cheerleading but I didn't know that it was gonna come at that cost the class itself is only $70 <laughs> handle the 70 so anyway her tumbling class does not require a uniform but she's excited about that but I think she's kind of bummed she didn't get into the elite team because I think one of their two friends have gotten in um so that'll be fine kind of fun I'm just gonna stay down there try and film a little bit of her doing that because it's kind of new and it's only an hour class I'm just mumbling because I don't want to get back on the tre treadmill <laughs> I've already hit 5,000 steps, but I know that I need to do more. One, one more thing. When I get cleaned up, I'm going to talk a little bit about my Christmas present that I had asked Jason for. And then I went ahead and bought it myself. I'm going to share with you what that item was. We keep referring to it, but I did buy it. Um, but I haven't shared it with you. It's shown itself in videos. I haven't shared it with you intentionally. But I want to have a little bit of a conversation about it because I kind of want to explain a little bit more. Because I think... It wasn't misinterpreted by any means. I just didn't do a good job explaining. Let me get cleaned up and I'll explain. Okay, I'm really lame today. 
<laughs> Do you know what time it is? It is 4.30. I have kind of been here at my desk for most of the afternoon. Hey Ashley, can you please come in and clean up this mess? Can I just show you? This is literally all Ashley. This little stinker. Look, you guys think I'm joking when, I, when we talk about the trail of Ashley. Let's find out what Ashley's done today. <laughs> She has made little things, little, I don't even know, something. She's always making something. Here, throw that away. Remember, not in my recycle can. That's all recycle, not food. This is a different day. Okay, but she's been standing here, and we need to take that out to the Halloween bucket. There's junk all over the floor. Backpack. So we know she came home from school. She took off her little onesie. There's more wrappers here. She has sorted her Halloween candy. Extra bags for sorting. Where else has Ashley been? Let's see. Where else? Oh, I think Ashley's been here. She's been wearing my shoes for some strange reason. She still currently has a show. See, I knew she had them on. She has a show on. She's not even sitting here watching. Let's see. Where, what else has Ashley done? Oh, yeah. Something. I'm sure she's done something with this corner because this I hide from you guys quite often. I don't share this part of our life with you. <laughs> You're supposed to clean that up today. You girl need to go and get your, just like your casual clothes on to go to tumbling. Go put on like biker shorts. Oh, you have them? Oh wow, look at you. <laughs> I'm sure the ladies were like, what is she doing? What is she doing? <laughs> are you just gonna wear that shirt or are you gonna find something else? There's a tank top underneath that. Go get one on, take your pants. Those are dirty, that's the second day you worn those. Put your backpack behind here, please. Yep, and then you're gonna wanna hide your candy, okay? But here's the thing. So I didn't have my camera with me when I was out and about today. Um, I did try to film with my phone, but I absolutely hate filming with my phone. But then I realized even if I had had my camera, I couldn't have shown you what I did when I went out because it was Christmas shopping. I have started to Christmas shop and I cannot share with you what I get because you don't necessarily watch my videos. But I can see notifications. Right, and like if I do a, what did I get my kids for Christmas video, of yeah, course she's gonna watch it. Or she listens to Jason watching it. He just like turns it on in the evenings and, and and plays it. So they're gonna see it. Or their friends will see it. Or their teachers. Apparently people at school now watch my channel. So whatever. So now I can't do like haul videos for you guys unless it's like regular groceries because I can't share with you what I'm getting them for Christmas. You need to get ready for tumbling. Okay, so that brings me to my final point. So let's talk about this. I've actually turned it around backward so you can see what it does. I've added these new little widgets to it to make fun screensavers. So this is what I asked for for Christmas. Remember that whole conversation that I had with Jason? This is why I was supposed to do this when they weren't home. <laughs> I forgot. So now you need clean socks. You can even wear your cheer socks. Get your cheer shoes on. Or not your cheer shoes. Good, good tennis shoes on. Please, you want to pull your hair up so that it's not in your way? Because you're going to do tumbling. I mean, that's the whole class. Okay. So I wanted and asked for an Apple Watch for Christmas. When I asked Jason for that, it was a heartfelt conversation. It was a very quick conversation, but we did have a conversation about it. When he didn't remember said conversation five days later, I didn't get mad. I got frustrated, but I did not get mad. I didn't ignore him necessarily, but I also explained my feelings to him. We were actually at the store when it happened. I explained my feelings to him that I was hurt that he didn't remember the conversation that he didn't remember what I had asked for, that it was hard for me to ask for that item. I did not tell him what it was. It wasn't even at that point about being petty. It was just, I was hurt. I was hurt that he didn't remember my conversation and what I had asked for and that it was hard for me to ask for said thing but he did not remember at that time what the item was. Fast forward a few more days from that, I wasn't mad anymore. I wasn't even mad beyond a few hours that day. I kind of let it go. I didn't hold it against him. I didn't mention it again. Fast forward a few days, we're at Costco. We walked in. I haven't said anything for a few days. And he walked in and he walked by, right by the Apple Watches. And he immediately remembered the entire conversation. And he paused, middle of Costco, and he was, he turned to me and he said, now I understand why you were frustrated because that Apple Watch is your step counter. Your Apple Watch is your health. Your Apple Watch is a sleep tracker to help you understand why we're not getting sleep at night. Yes. They're up in my bedroom. I need to have a collection down here, but they're up in my bedroom. He understood why I was frustrated. I was not mad at him. I did not hold it against him for a very long time. 
now we can joke about it. But in that moment, he realized why I was hurt. He also understood that the financial burden to getting an expensive watch was hard for me to ask for. And so he immediately apologized. We did not film that. He apologized and he understood why I was upset. A lot of the times I don't film me being extremely mad, but I wasn't. But I also don't film me being mildly mad. I also don't film our actual emotional conversations. We joke about things, but I don't actually film that entire process. And so in that moment, he realized what it was that he um, had wanted to get or that I had asked for and he apologized. I think that was on a Friday. The first conversation probably happened on a Monday when he was off and then walked into Costco and realized what the item was on a Friday when we were at Costco and he worked the next day. So we were fine at that point. He was like, yes, we can get you that for Christmas. Yes, that's fine. But at that point in the game, I no longer felt like it felt like a gift. And I, I don't know how else to explain that. It was no longer him giving me something for Christmas because the entire thing was meant for me to ask for something that was hard to ask for and for him to give it to me, selfless on both of our part. And that no longer could happen organically. And so I went and bought it for myself because that was truly what it was for. It was for myself. I needed to give this gift of me taking care of me to myself. He saw it that evening. I had it on. I was playing with it. I was happy with it and he saw it and he said, that's okay. Again, we didn't film that. We didn't talk about it on camera. He said, it's okay that you got it because now I understand why you wanted it. We do joke about it. Like our banter right now is ironic because this costs a lot of money. His car costs a lot of money and he's buying accessories for his car. In fact, you're sitting on some of his accessories that he's going to use for his license plate that just came in the mail today. It's a new license plate cover. So part of the joke that we talk about on camera and banter back and forth is our general nature in order to sometimes work our way through tough situations, but it's also okay for us to do that because it's very normal for us to do that and for us to banter. We have been bantering like that. That is why we love each other because we allow each other to have banter back and forth. We've been doing that for the 25 years that we have known each other. And it was one of the things that we both loved about each other is that we could give each other a hard time and know that th feelings weren't being hurt. Certain things, certain levels of banter is okay. So I just wanted to be able to explain that to you because I know a lot of people have said, hey, you need to let that go and you need to not have hurt feelings or let him get you the present. I didn't hold on to negative feelings. I let them go immediately because the true gist of it was that I needed to do this for myself and I didn't hold it against him at all. Listening and having conversations be remembered is still a topic of conversation within our marriage and is still going to continue to be something that we both work on. Part of the reason why I bought this for myself, and I'm sorry this is so long, this will probably be the rest of the, today's video. I'll show you a glimpse of Ashley going to tumbling, but the whole gist of me going, to, going ahead and buying this was to show him that when he doesn't listen, it hurts. And when he doesn't listen to something that I need, I might just be able to go and help myself, but the reality is I wanted him to help me. And I needed him to see that when he doesn't listen, you know, there's there's kind there's consequences. I could have just waited a couple years until he remembered the conversation and got me a watch for Christmas. But I needed it now. I needed the gift. I needed this because I asked for it. And it doesn't matter what this is. So we get it now and he's he's on the hunt to find the gift to replace the whole scenario and I keep telling him it's not about that. I don't need something else to replace what you didn't give me. I still want it to be heartfelt whatever he does end up giving me. I want it to be something that is heartfelt and it doesn't matter if it's a new blender as long as he knows that's something that I really really want. And so I'm hoping the next time we have conversations about something that we need whether it's a Christmas gift or not we can both listen you know I listen all the time to him telling me I don't need anything I don't want anything and part of that makes me feel guilty in cases like this when I do ask for something that I do want that's why it was hard for me is because a lot of the time he says don't get me anything so it's very difficult for me to ask for something I hope that makes sense that's why it was hard for me <clears throat> He often does not want things for Christmas. He often does not want things for his birthday or our anniversary or any other special occasion. That's why it was hard for me to ask 
or something because I feel guilt. So let me know if you understand if that helps to clarify things just a little bit. I I wasn't, I joked about being petty and buying my own gift, um, but it truly was because I really needed it for myself and it really has been beneficial. <laughs> All jokes aside, it's really fun and I had a Halloween um, screen saver on it and um, it is fun to get and have um, use of. I literally track my steps all the time now. I'm over 10,000 steps for today. I'm also able to track my sleep patterns. It's upside down for you guys, but I'm able to track my sleep habits. I go to sleep deep um, when I'm waking up during the night. What are we doing to wake each other up? I actually really want him to get one so that he can track his sleep because often we think when we kind of time when we each are waking up, we're realizing we're waking each other up. He's like, well, I woke up at five and I was like, my watch said I woke up at five, you woke me up. So it, there's a lot of benefits to having this and I'm really enjoying being able to track my health more. Um, today when I was sitting eating breakfast, I think. Yeah, I was eating breakfast after I had walked, I think 7,000 steps at that point. All of a sudden my heart rate, it met, it motioned to me, it, it, you know, I had an alert and it said, your heart rate jumped up even though you have been motionless. You've, you've been sitting for five minutes. Why is your heart rate going up? That kind of thing I'm starting to pay attention to. Those are the things that I'm trying to understand about my health and how to make things better. I have a... <laughs> <laughs> I have one of my um, what are they my activities for the day that I have to that I give myself goals on. These are um, my goals, and if I reach them, I get an award at the end of the day. One of them is that I need to stand up every single hour. So not only do I have you know I need to earn ten thousand steps in a day, but I need to stand up. 12 times during the day, or at least until I go to bed. A whole 12 hour period I need to stand up every hour. And so I'm guaranteeing you, if I sat here for another half hour, it's gonna tell me stand up. It's keeping me in check, and that's why I really wanted it. So it seems like a silly thing to want this, but um, it's not just an accessory for me. It's really trying to help me um, be motivated with my health. Very long-winded explanation, but I felt like you guys deserve to have more of an explanation. Uh, a lot of it we just kind of kept within ourselves, but a lot of people have been like, are you okay? Are you over the fact that he forgot? You know, it, it wasn't, it, like, I've already explained it, but I wanted to explain that to you guys because part of why I like all of your interactions with me and part of why I like to be able to like sit down and chat with you guys is it's an outlet and it me being able to reach out to other people that are in different walks of life they live in different states and different countries and different areas and different relationships um, and we learn and grow from that and there are things that I've already like said oh I you know someone said I should maybe work on this I'm gonna do that we all can help each other and and learn from each other and that's why I like to bring this kind of stuff to you some of it's a little too personal and some of it's not. Um, but just know that like the true nitty gritty of the situation with me and Jason, it's fine. It's all fine and good. Um, I'm a battery splashing. So <laughs> 14 minute video, I've gotta cut that down. Okay, we're gonna go take Ashley to cheer. Um, I actually was gonna go get a new pot because I burned it the other day, but um, I don't think we have time. So I'm gonna take her to cheer and, or not to cheer, I wish we could sign up. I'm on a waiting list for an elite cheer team here in town. Um, I really wanna get her on it, but I might sign her up for a dance class instead. So let's take her to tumbling, see what I can film of it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film much of it, but let's go from that point. What just happened, Ashley? I'm on the elite cheer team. <laughs> she just got on. They just called me and told me she's so excited. I am. You are I so excited. To, because it's like five minutes before I... I know, her other class starts in five minutes. We're here looking at a few little things to go underneath her t-shirts. No, are you telling Ella yeah. and Sadie? <laughs> she's so excited. Ella, Sadie's gonna be like... I know, now Sadie, Sadie's on it, but Ella's not now. She's Hopefully gonna, Ella is on the wait list. She'll be happy because she's already done it. She'll be... Yeah, she'll be happy for you. Yeah, but then I okay. can ask her if she wants to do the dance one with me. Okay. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay. You're got, happy. I am. I'm very happy. Okay, let's go get these really quick. I think that's going to fit you. Here, turn, move, move this. All right, I hope you can see me. This is going to be a long night for Ashley. She's done her first tumbling class. Oh, when the door's open. She's done the first tumbling class, and now she's doing her elite um, drill team, or a cheer team, call it EDE, 
elite dream something drill something anyway she's having fun turns out her two best friends from cheerleading didn't get onto the wait list they just well it's full we won't get on and then when we came down here we were talking to the coach who's also the coach of the tumbling class um she was like so Ashley's new, but you are friends with these other two girls. And the other two girls have taken this class before. They were on the team last year, and uh, that's how we knew about it. And she's like, how come you guys didn't sign up? Like, if you don't sign up for this class this time, you won't be able to do the cheers at UW, which is University of Washington, and the basketball games, like, they won't know the, the cheers. And so they won't be able to do all that um, next round. Anyway, it sounds like we're gonna have to sign up again. <laughs> Um, but it's good because then it gives something for Ashley to do but um and they were, we were all like no the class is full and the coaches looked at each other and they're like well we're the ones in charge of the class so I think we just got an open spot for two more people and so those two girls went down and signed up and got on but they just didn't know that they were gonna do it tonight so they were hungry oh, there is Jason so, and I'm hungry and Ashley's hungry so Jason actually just got home like a half hour ago and he called me and he was like hey do you want like one of those car dates where we watch a movie and download software using your iPhone as a hotspot. And I was like, yeah, that'd be great. So you could come over to the community center, bring me dinner, and I'll sit out here <laughs> and eat dinner with you. And he's literally pulling up right now um, while we wait for the last hour of Ashley's class. And we can see in the classroom right here, there's open doors, like open windows right here where we can see her. Hang on one second, let me get in the car. All right, you can't really even see me. Say hi to Jace. Hey, hey. So we can sit out here and like well, turn it off and try it and watch her little class right here and uh, still sit in our car and eat food. It's cute. it's cute, but I don't know the coaches at all. I, I don't want them to like see me out here like filming her class. You know, like some creeper peeping Tom. No, you're just a creeper. <laughs> a devoted YouTuber. mother. I'm a devoted, a devoted mother. mother yeah. Um. Anyway, so we're gonna sit out here and eat our food. It's been a long day. Something I haven't really like mentioned. It's kind of a hard day in general. There's a, a bunch of kids at our daughter's school that were in a car accident on Halloween night. Um, reckless driving. That's all I'll say is reckless driving. Oh, they weren't even old enough to drive. They weren't even old enough to drive. We'll just say that. And so maybe the party involved that caused it he might have been but anyway others were not but we just found out late last night well, i found out this morning the girls found out late last night that one of the girls did not make it sad. and it's very sad she's only abby's age she's a sophomore in high school the other two are still on life support i'm not sure if they're gonna make it but um i came down here to the, the community center and i just noticed a huge crowd as we were coming to do our tumbling class and realized it was a whole vigil and a memorial for that girl and like so many people yeah, dude, I gotta eat. Time to eat. I'm not gonna. <laughs> he just said the most inappropriate thing. He was opening his fork and it was causing a bunch of noise, and then he said something really inappropriate that I will not share with you right here. Anyway, this memorial service, not memorial service, just a little, yeah, you know, like a I guess so. Vigil? A vigil um, was set up right here inside the community center. And so it's been hard because like, you know, it's right at the entrance to the community center. And so Ashley had her time like being so excited when she got here. She's like, mom, that's for that girl, isn't it? Because it's been a major conversation for us with our girls and they're young and they're driving and like, okay, you got to be careful. Don't do, make stupid mistakes. Don't make su stupid decisions. But also like she came in tonight, Ashley did so excited and she was so excited to tell her friends that she made it onto this team and ask them to join with her and and then she's like but mom that I can't be that excited in front of all these people that wouldn't be very respectful and so we had to kind of wait till we had a private moment to like tell her friends away from this little vigil anyway so it's like up and down emotion I don't know today but she's having a good time she's gonna be so excited for this Panda Express <laughs> <laughs> like she thought she was gonna get McDonald's, but she absolutely loves Panda. So we'll sh save her some. You do not eat all of it. Is my do I? You got yours some? down there. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm yours. gonna go and eat. And he's gonna use my phone as a hotspot to do the download. Correct. You're just using me for my Wi-Fi. We'll try it. <laughs> okay, Ash. I want your true thoughts on tumble class tonight and your new drill team, cheer team. You did a lot of tumbling in your because cheer class. We're gonna do cheer, and so they actually think we're yeah. tumbling. Yeah, because a lot of them are in the same. All tumbling. What? Cheer, Next week? All tumbling and cheer too. But did you like it? Yeah, I'm in the round off crew. So That'd be you fun. Do a round off. Because you need to practice it. This is the whole point of the class. Because you have and to I go knew... like this. You have to go like so I can't I couldn't film her a lot. Jump, take two steps, and then do it. And yep. so I won't have enough space here. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did not film you at all during class today because I'd, it looked like a peeping Tom. Look, it looked like a creepo mom filming from a glass window from outside in my car with a camera. With a camera. It looked until the coaches get to know me and then I'm only filming you. Like your last coaches knew that. But I don't want to like have anyone get creeped out. But I'm glad you got it. And it'll be fun. We can't stay up till 10 o'clock though after we go to cheer. So. Okay, you need to go to bed. But we're gonna sign off with you guys. I'm actually going to bed. It's 10 o'clock. Her and I just read. Dad massaged Abby's back and he's already going to bed. <laughs> I think he's taking tomorrow off. I think our employee was like, hey, why don't you take the day off tomorrow? These are the employees that you, oh, these are the types of employees that you really want. The ones that say, hey boss, don't come to work tomorrow. <laughs> We've waited 19 years to get these amazing employees. So, good night. The magic places in the world I've been to This is where my heart is Oh, you know it's true No matter where I go I'm coming home to you